So oh, basically they sent me this huge ass fridge. I thought it was real for a minute. I was like, girl, I'm gonna put some soda up in there and everything. So this is how she looks. She is huge and really cute. Okay, so here is the Too Faced Peaches and Cream Comfort Matte Collection. Everything here does smell like peaches. So I'm just gonna quickly tell you guys what's in the collection and after that, I'm just gonna place this down because girl, this thing is heavy. I'm literally sweating right now. So it comes with a cooling matte primer. It comes with a mattifying setting spray. It comes with a loose setting powder. It comes with a translucent smoothing, I cannot duck. It comes with a translucent, translucent smoothing finishing powder. It comes with a radiant matte bronzer. When I saw this package, I thought they were only sending me like three of like my type of shades. Like I guess I would just like figure it out. I'm obviously blind. I mean, right here it has like all these colors. It comes with four light, four medium, and four dark. I got three of the Moisture Matte Long Wearing Lipsticks. And then we have the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette. And then we have the Melting Powder Blush. This is available in six shades. We have the Melting Powder Bronzer and the Melting Powder Highlighter. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first product that I'm gonna try out is the Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. This is supposed to be cooling to um, your face, so we will see how that works out. Oh my God, I love the packaging. Like Everything about this is amazing. Oh my God, it's pink. <gasps> that is the cutest thing ever. I was not expecting that at all. I don't smell anything yet. But it does feel already very cooling. Oh yeah, very, very cooling. That is so crazy. I love how it's um, mattifying because I have really oily skin and I noticed the foundations they have as well are supposed to be mattifying. This does feel very cool on the face, like actually cold. It's not that strong. It smells like peaches, but it's for sure tolerable. Like It's not something that's gonna give me a headache. It's such a light scent. For foundation, I'm actually so excited because I thought originally they had given me only three different foundations, but I noticed underneath there was a lot more. So I did grab the light shades. They're a little bit bigger than the primer. So here's the primer and here is the foundation. This is literally how it looks side by side. As you can tell, the foundation is a lot bigger. This is a Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. So this is infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Oil-free, 14 hour wear, oil controlling, and photo friendly. That's really, really good because I'm looking for some new makeup to try out possibly for my wedding. This might be it, who knows? Now, I don't know if this is true to color, like in the back, it will literally have like a little peach and just like the color and name. So, girl. But I'm thinking I'm probably vanilla. I like pumps with foundations. And especially this kind of packaging. I don't know, I feel like it's very travel friendly. I don't know if I have to shake it up, but this feels like a little watery. Yeah, you see that dripping? Right now, it does feel like thick, but lightweight at the same time. I really like though that the smell's not so overpowering because there are foundations and powders that it's just like, ugh, it smells so strong. This is not it for sure. So far the coverage looks great. This foundation is supposed to be medium coverage. It's drying a little quick, but it's not like clinging on the skin. This is for sure the kind of foundation you could wear without powder. I feel like with one coat, you will get enough coverage. I'm just going in with like a second layer just to see. This foundation for sure is very mattifying. Like I move my face around, I almost feel like I don't want to say I feel like I have a mask on but like it's definitely on so this collection does not come with concealer so I went ahead and applied my own this is the first time I'm actually opening the package so I'm like super excited for like everything it does come with a setting powder it looks like this I'm so excited to actually bake my face by the way this is just a ribbon so I can actually pull out the product you're gonna see a lot of stuff like this just like this one I'm just so obsessed with the packaging this is so bulky it comes with a little container so you could open and close it I actually like this concept because my airspun loose powder girl once you open and that thing it falls everywhere let's go ahead and try this out oh my god this smells so good it is very finely milled I'm wondering if this is photo friendly like I'm really hoping it has no flashback it's so finely milled that you're like breathing it in So this is a Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder. We're gonna set pretty much the rest of the face with this. Wait a minute, I'm like really confused right now. This is legit pink. 
translucent smoothing finishing powder because it's supposed to be like a setting powder for some reason I want to use it just to see how it's gonna work this is so weird it kind of looks pink hmm okay this is so weird like I don't feel like it's doing anything to my face I actually think it is meant for blurring I mean obviously it says it right there but I don't think it's doing like anything to my face. So next we have the Too Faced Sweet Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my God, that's like so beautiful. <gasps> this packaging is everything. This looks amazing. So apparently this is to define, highlight, and sculpt. I will use this, just not right now. So this is the Too Faced Melting Powder Bronzer in the color Toasted Peach. It's like a little dome. It looks like a cream. Apparently it's supposed to melt into a powder. I don't know exactly what brush to use with this because there's a fit supposed to turn into a powder. I'm assuming I could use just like any kind of brush with it because I like to use different brushes for cream products, but this is different. We're gonna go in. Oh wow. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Because it is a cream product, I would just apply this under powder, but I didn't know I'm literally opening as I go. But I think this for sure should go under your powder. My foundation and bronzer is like mixing in a really weird way. It blends really, really good, but like I did not know it was gonna be this intense. See, if I go in with a little bit, like it looks just fine. I could see what they mean, like it's drying into a powder finish because just touching it, it doesn't feel creamy at all. It dried to a powder finish for sure. I wouldn't even have to like set this. Now I'm gonna take the Sweet Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer. So we're just gonna apply this kind of like a bronzer bronzer right above like the contour oh yeah that's so pretty now I'm looking really warm though for sure I would probably use this just on my cheeks now for blush I'm taking the Too Faced peach my cheeks and this is also a melting powder blush and this is in the color is so peachy so I'm assuming it's gonna be like a creamy formula oh, the packaging is adorable it's the same thing as the bronzer. They do have six different blush shades available. This is one they sent me. Like I said, normally cream products I would apply before powder. I didn't know that they were going to be creamy. These cream products go a very, very long way. Like you don't have to apply a lot. Oh yeah, like see like, whoa, that's a lot of blush. Next we have the Too Faced Peach Frost Melting Highlight in the color Happy Face. Ooh. Okay, that's how it looks. Okay, so she doesn't look super blinding. The highlight is so, so subtle. I'm gonna try to apply it with my fingers and see what we're working with. Okay, so that's a little pigmented, just a little bit. You guys, this bronzer like is a mess. This highlighter is not bad though, like it's super subtle. A lot of people would like this. It's just, I like such a blinding ass highlighter. All right, so now let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Oh wow, so these are the colors. I love that there's a lot of like warm everyday colors in here. <sighs> Smells like peaches, of course. I wanna use Just Peachy, it's like a light peach. And I'm gonna pop this on the crease. I kinda wanna take this color right here, which is called Just Ripe. And yeah, I think we're gonna take it. It's like a cranberry brown. I love that all these eyeshadows are matte. And the colors are super pigmented too. I'm taking more of that light peach and just going over it to like blend. I'm noticing the colors are like very blendable. Wow, I really like that. This could easily become like one of my favorite palettes. I love that they're all matte. I love that the colors are just so wearable and I love that they blend in so nicely. I kind of want to take some of this medium brown right here. Then, well, that's like dark brown. And the crease just like right about here. Just to like intensify just a little more. Now what I'm going to do is take this color. It's like a vanilla. I mean, these are very, very similar. This one's more yellow and this one's more pink. This is in the color peach butter. I'm just going to apply this on my eyelid. So I'm gonna go in with the light peach again and I'm just gonna smoke out the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna take more of this cranberry color and I'm just gonna apply this on the lash line just to like define it. 
that's pretty much it for the palette. Now what I'm gonna do is just apply some wing liner lashes and I'll be right back with the lips. I have three lipsticks right here. I have the color Doll, which, oh my God, even this packaging for the lipstick is super cute on the top. It has the color and a little peach. So this is Doll Sunday Fun Day, which is like, kind of like a brown nude. We have Drunk Dial, which is just like a purple. I'm gonna go with Doll Face because it's like, the typical nude. I think that's the one that's gonna go best with this look. Okay, so, oh my God, it has all these peaches around it. It is so cute. Mmm, tastes just like peaches. So this is how the color doll face looks on the lips. These lipsticks are very creamy but they look matte. So this is Sunday Fun Day. So I'm just gonna go like on the outer parts and give my lips a little bit of dimension because I feel like they look a little funny right now. Okay, so that's already starting to look a little better. So last but not least, I am so excited to be trying the Too Faced Peach Mist. This is a mattifying setting spray. I love that everything is mattifying. Like, literally, I mean, even the eyeshadow palette is all matte. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this all over my face. This is also infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Oh, the packaging is everything. Oh, it's so cute. See how it gets stuck? Like I have to pull it out. That's so weird. I mean, no biggie, you just have to pull it back out, but that's really weird. I don't know if it's just like an effect on mine. I honestly really love this entire collection. I love the packaging. It's like beautiful. The only thing that threw me off out of the entire collection was the setting spray because when I pump, it kind of gets like stuck after a few times, which is so weird. I mean, all I have to do is pop it back up. I'm just afraid that if I pop it up, I'm gonna completely remove the little cap. I love the primer. It definitely mattified my face. The foundation also is very mattifying, which I freaking love. I love that the foundation is super, super full coverage. The only thing I don't like is the fact that I have like a huge patch on my cheek, but I could just cover it with my hair, girl. I mean, that's all good. I think that was like my mistake because I applied cream product on top of powder but other than that I love everything else I mean I love the bronzer too it's just it kind of like threw me off but then again like I cannot blame the bronzer you know what I'm saying so foundation and primer I'm obsessed with the bronzer kind of threw me off because it was creamy but then it's set to like a powder you finish the creamy products were very pigmented the highlighter um you could barely see it but it's honestly like your typical subtle highlighter right now we are so into like the crazy metallic pigmented Highlighters, at least I am, um, but it's sometimes like nice to wear like something subtle that doesn't look so blinding. The setting powder to set the under eyes, I actually really loved, and I just remembered right now. I did want to see if the, the setting powder did get flashback, so I am going to take a picture really quick. I'm going to take a quick picture with flash. Okay, that's a really shitty picture. Okay, so it doesn't, like, I don't feel like I look like super, um, washed out like it looks like a normal picture so i don't think it does give any flashback it's just everything the eyeshadow palette everything was very impressive all right you guys so that's pretty much it for this review slash tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful do not forget to stop by my instagram twitter facebook and snapchat don't forget to follow me on there and do not forget to subscribe to my vlog channel because I am vlogging. So if you guys want to stay updated to what I'm doing, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have it down in the description box. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!